one of the most profound statements that is ever spoken in this in the whole universe is that statement that our lord jesus christ spoke in the book of john chapter 8 verse 32 when he said and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free there's something about knowing and there's something about the truth you see the truth is that thing that don't change with time and when jesus was talking about the truth he was talking about the word because the bible says in the book of john chapter 17 that the word of god is the truth the word of god is the truth and one thing about the truth is that the truth prevails and it endures 1000 years ago it is the truth now it is the truth even the truth is so powerful that even when the heaven and the earth passes away the truth will remain and that is why it's a worthwhile venture to to go for the world to research into the world to invest in the world to believe in the world and to base our lives on the world because it never fails good morning you are welcome to i prevail with joseph adenuga as usual on a daily basis god send me to you with this word to encourage you to motivate you to inspire you this word comes your way in order for me to show you what god is saying you know for the day and i believe it is blessing you and it will continue to bless you in the name of jesus the bible says in the book of psalm 107 verse 20 that he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destructions and i always say to you that when god wants to walk he uses his word because the word of god brings about the work of god if anybody wants to see the work of god he must embark on a search of the word because it is the avenue of the word that god uses to you know to bring his work to pass in any situation and so the word of god is so important and this is the truth that we are talking about now this morning the lord you know want me to just share with you four things that i got from the school of disciples you know the first thing is that you have to understand that you need to know your god that is the first thing in life because when you know your god then you will be strong according to daniel chapter 11 verse 32 knowing god brings strength you need to go on a search through the word of God to know your God. The second thing, you have to know yourself. And I found out from the study of the word of God that the more of God you know, the more of yourself is revealed to you. When you know yourself, they are not going to tell you who you are. Situations and circumstances will not deceive you to think you are that because of what you are going through you see when you know who you are you see you are not going to be misled by prophetic some some wrong prophetic you know you know utterances you are not going to be deceived by what people say you are not going to be moved by what people think because you know who you are it is important for you to know who you are if you are going to succeed. And you cannot know who you are if you don't know your God. You understand? And the third thing to know is that you need to know your enemy because you've got an enemy. Remember Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 tells us we are fighting. How can you fight if there is no enemy? That means there are enemies to fight. We are fighting, but the Bible tells us the kind of a fight. He said it's not against people. It's not against flesh and blood. This fight is a spiritual warfare. You need to know who your enemy is. And when you know God, the more of God you know, the more he shows you your enemy. 
You see, that is why the paramount thing in life is knowing God. That's why Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 says that those people who know their God, they are always strong and they always do great exploit. You see? You need to know your enemy because when you know your enemy, God is going to show you the tactics by which your enemy work. You are going to know the devices of the devil because the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. When you need, when you know your enemy, you will know the cunning craftiness by which he moves. And so because you know your enemy, you will have power to defeat the enemy. And the number 14 you need to know is you need to know the weapon that God gave you to win and to overcome the enemy. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, reading from verse 4, it says, for the weapons, in fact, let me take it from verse 3. I'm just quoting it off head, you know. From verse 3 it says that even though we are walking in the flesh, you see, we are not battling or warring after the flesh even though we are still living in human flesh we are still living in this physical world our battle is not according to the flesh our battle is not against you know people or against things that are physical that's what verse 3 means now verse 4 now says for us to understand it properly he said for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You see, you need to understand that God gave us a weapon. You have got a weapon of warfare. God knows that the devil is tough and the devil is not easy because the devil doesn't give up. Now, even when you beat him now, he comes back again. And when you beat him again, he, he comes back again and again and again. And that is why our Lord Jesus said, pray without ceasing. You must not stop praying. He said, men ought always to pray and not to faint because we know that the devil always comes back. And that is why, can you imagine, Jesus had 40 days and 40 nights of fasting. It was a period of success. After 40 days and 40 nights of not eating nothing, he was in the high mountain. In fact, the Bible says he was full of the Spirit. You see, he had done maybe what many people have never done in their lifetime. It's not easy to fast. He was in the spiritual mountain top. That was when the devil came to tempt him. You see, I thought the devil would tempt him when he was full, but it was when he was really spiritual that the devil tempted him. Don't deceive yourself. The devil never stopped tempting, tempting people. You need to know who your God is. You need to know who you are. You need to know your enemy. You need to understand that God gave you the weapon to defeat the enemy. And I will tell you more, but this is where I'm going to stop today. These four things is very important for you to know. You need to know your God. This is the most important thing. Then you need to know who you are. And you need to know your enemy. And you know, need to know the weapons that God gave you to overcome. All these are found in the Bible. That is why the Bible must be your companion. The Bible has been said to be an acronym for basic instruction before leaving the earth. You see, because the Bible is the word of God, and you know the word of God will never, you know, will, will, will never fail. So you need to understand these things. Know your God, very important. Know who you are, very important. You need to know your enemy. And very, very important, you need to know that you've got weapon to overcome your enemy. This is the word, this is the message that God gave to me to give to you. And excuse me, and I want you to think about it. I want you to think very much about it. God will help you. 
in Jesus' name. Please rebroadcast. If you got this on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that bell and um, so that you can receive further notifications. If somebody sends this to you on WhatsApp, this is the audio format, and you want to hear this on a daily basis directly from me, just save my number. My number is plus 27740302. 381. Thank you so much. It is well with you. I'd like you to be our partner. If you want to be partner with us, you know, support this ministry so that we can send this to more people around the world. In fact, we are really, really thinking, uh, you know, to have a, a live, I mean, a daily broadcast on some radios in some nations of the world. So if you want to be in as a partner with us, let me know. God bless you. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. Partners, I'm going to bring the word. I couldn't bring the word last week. I'm sorry for that. Partners, you know, message will follow any moment from now. Thank you so much. It is well with you. This is Joseph Adenunga, your brother, your friend, and your pastor. Saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.